Why would God allow storms? I think in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 and 7, 6 and 7, God tells us why he allows storms. Let's read it together. So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious, and the implication here is to God, your faith is far more precious to God than mere gold. Okay, here's what 1 Peter 1, 6 and 7 is telling us. Life is a crucible. Why? Because our God is a goldsmith. Here's another way to say it. I think one of God's love languages is genuine faith. Not social media faith. Not church attendance faith. Genuine faith. I wonder if every time the storm clouds come our way in life, if God on the throne isn't peering over the balcony of heaven going, hey, hey, guys, guys, it's about to happen. The storm's coming at Preston. Two things are about to happen. Give me the popcorn. Get me my popcorn. We're, we're about to watch this movie. Preston's about to see two things happen. We're about to see how genuine his faith really is. And secondly, he's about to see how strong I really am. So I think when the storm clouds come our way, God's going, that's what I'm talking, here we go. Listen, isn't it interesting that the sailor is deathly afraid of the very thing the farmer begs God for. I think God sees our storms quite differently than we see our storms. 